guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a look for you that is kind of inspired by the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette that just launched I think a week or two weeks ago. Um, I know a lot of people wanted to really get that palette. I know I wanted to get that palette and it went out of stock really really fast. Um, it is coming back in stock but I thought I would film a look um, with some colors that I already have that I was able to kind of play with. Um, to give you a very similar look that you would get using some of the colors in the palette uh, released by Manny MUA and Makeup Geek. Um, now this is in no way saying, you know, um, not saying to go buy that palette because I definitely want to buy the palette. I just wanted to see if I could create something similar to the palette, um, seeing as though it is out of stock right now. Um, I've, like I said, I've not swatched the colors or anything like that. But based on what I've seen online and stuff, I feel like the look I have put together is very similar to the color scheme of a couple of the shades in that palette. So if you don't want to go out and buy the palette or you don't have the money to buy the palette right now, you can kind of finagle some stuff with some lesser, um, some inexpensive makeup brands that I have in this video that I'm going to be use using. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learned something um, new and definitely like, um, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, so I've already done one eye and taped off the other one, so I'm going in with MAC Uninterrupted in my upper part of my crease. I'm just kind of blending that in really well for a nice warm transition color. Um, you want to do circular motions and windshield wiper motions to get that color to the desired level of intensity that you want. Um, don't mind as I dig in my other eye. And we're going to be moving on into the Revealed um, palette from BH Cosmet. Oh no, sorry, from Coastal Scents. And I'm taking that reddish color and the burgundy color, mixing those two together to get that kind of a reddish tone that's in the Manny. Um, MUA palette with Makeup Geek. Um, you can probably just use one or the other, but I just felt like mixing the two together that would get the closest reddish shade um, that is in that palette. So just keep on layering that up on your eye until you feel like you have the color that you want. So next, what I wanted to do to create that color that Manny has in his palette, I'm not sure the name of it, I think it might be Andromeda. Um, I'm using a olive green base. And then on top of that base, I'm going to be going in with a Wet n Wild Oldie But Goodie palette. Um, that palette is called Comfort Zone. And I'm using that duochrome color in the far right hand corner of the palette to pat on top of that olive green base that we put down. Um, I tried doing this just with the eyeshadow and I didn't feel like the color looked as close to the Manny MUA palette. So when layering it with that green underneath, I felt like this color really, really is pretty darn close to the color in that palette. So after you've layered that up how you want, you want to go ahead and go in next uh, with that reddish tone that we used before. I'm not mixing it with the burgundy this time, just going in with that true red color to um, go ahead and blend everything in and increase that intensity in the crease of the eye. So then what I'm going to do is go ahead and do my winged eyeliner. I'm going to do my best to do this on camera. Um, usually I have to be right up on top of a mirror to do this because I am blind as a bat. But we're going to see how far I can get here on camera doing it for you guys. So basically what I do is I, I um, use the tape as a guide, draw my first line, um, line my actual lash line, and then fill everything in. So then what we're going to be going into next is doing a little concealing under the eyes. I'm using a peachy tone concealer from NYX. Um, this is the NYX Dark Circle Eraser. Go ahead and putting that under my eyes on my dark patches. And I'm putting a little bit around my nose. I know you're supposed to use green, but this works okay for me. And I have a really dark spot on my cheek that's kind of starting to fade, so I'm putting a little bit of that peach on there as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out a little bit with a IT Cosmetics, um, what brush is this? This is IT Cosmetics Airbrush Concealer Brush. And just gonna blend that out a little bit around my eyes, my nose, and the little dark patch friend we have on our cheek right there. So the next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. And the foundation I'm gonna be using is actually a CC cream because my skin has been extra dry and crepey due to an allergic reaction that I had on some makeup products that I got. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use the CC cream, which is pretty dewy for my liking, um, but since my skin is so dry and creepy right now, I figured it would work pretty darn good. Um, it is a CC cream. The coverage is not going to be full coverage, but it does cover really well. Um, I'm really fair right now, so this color actually matches me almost perfect. I usually have to mix it in with another like deeper foundation shade because um, it tends to be a little bit on the lighter side, but it is matching me a-okay today. So just make sure you get that blended in all over your face. Um, you can layer this up if you need to. Um, I usually don't, but if you feel like you want extra coverage, you definitely can do that. And then next what I'm going to do is go in with my concealer, and I'm going to be trying a new one out. This is the new NYX, um, oh, what is it called? Extra Coverage, or I'll leave it in the down bar, but I'm not exactly certain of what the name is. Oh, it's the Gotcha Covered Concealer Waterproof. So putting a little bit under the eye, it is very thick and kind of greasy in my opinion. Um, so I didn't put a whole lot under my eye, I just wanted to kind of help out a little bit with those dark circles. And I'm actually going to go back in with another concealer um, underneath, and that is the NYX HD Concealer in the color CW04 Beige. Putting that under my eyes, around my nose where I get hormonal redness, and a little, little bit of a highlight down the bridge of my nose. So you just want to go ahead and blend that out, and as you'll see, it's going to look a little bit crazy, but I go back in with my foundation brush to go ahead and blend out those kind of rough edges that I left there on my face. As you see, this creates a really nice brightening under the eye. Not too, too much, but just enough so you don't look completely tired. Uh, so just go ahead and blend all that out. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to look around behind us and we're going to find, what are we finding, what are we looking for, what are we looking for? I'm looking confused right now. And I'm going in with my under eye setting powder. I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Highlight and Contour Palette in the yellow tone shade. Um, I'll, again, I will leave all the products in the description bar that I did use. And just go ahead and setting all that under the eye that we did work on. And then set all the areas that we applied concealer to. And once we've gotten all that set, we're going to move in with our actual setting powder for the rest of the face. And this is going to be the Laura Mercier uh, Matte Translucent Powder. And just putting a small dusting of that on my face. Since I am really dry right now, I didn't want to kick it on just a little bit to take some of the shine away. And then what we're going to be doing is putting our glasses on and making sure our face looks okay. And I'm going to go in with the bronzer color in the Wet n Wild palette and just bronzing the cheeks, not contouring, not doing anything for size, just putting a little bit of warmth onto the cheeks as well as onto our hairline just to give a little bit of extra color to our look. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a harsh line on my forehead, so what I'm going to do is go back in with my foundation brush and blend all that in so it looks like you're just kind of kissed by the sun on your forehead and your cheeks. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to do next is a little blush. So I'm going in with a really pretty kind of a, um, gl not glittery, but shimmery sheen blush. This is from a Model Co. in the color Peach Bellini. Just putting that on the apples of the cheeks and kind of blending it back a little bit. I'm also using my foundation brush to blend that in a little bit so it's not as intense on the cheeks. I'm not really positive what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, we're going in with the brows next. So brows, just kind of combing those through. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use two products on my brows today. And I'm going to be going in with my, once I can retrieve it, it's going to be my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. And I don't usually use this, but I've liked using it in conjunction with the brow definer. Um, I just use it for the tails of my brows, so I get more of a sharper edge on the tail of my brow and a little bit darker tail and then I go in with that eye definer to fill in the rest of the brow. So as you can see it just kind of darkens the tail up a little bit, gives a little bit more precise edge and that's really all I do is just, just a tiny 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 feathering into the tail of the brow and then once we've done that we're going to go ahead and go in with that brow definer from Anastasia and I'm in the color soft brown in that and we're just going to go ahead and finish filling in the brows.
with a pinky lip liner from Prestige. Again, I will have the description of all the products in the down bar, but just tracing my lips and filling them in a little bit with that. And then going in with like a pinky mauve-ish lipstick. Again, that will be listed in the down bar because I have no clue what it is. And then on top of that, I wanted it to be a little bit more of an orangey look. So I'm going to be using a NYX Butter Gloss, or a Tense Butter Gloss in an orange color to kind of give it a pinky orange-ish orange -ish tone to match the eyes. So just blend that all in. I'm going to go with my finger to further blend those products together um, to make sure there's no weird lines of demarcation. And that is almost the whole look. We're going to go ahead and go into the lower lash line. Using that same green base that we put down before we laid down the star of the show color from that Wet n Wild palette. And then I'm going to go in with that color we used on the lid and blend that into the lower lash line on top of that olive green base that we put down. So just go ahead and blend that however um, like intense that you want it to be. You definitely could blend it down a little bit lower, but I just wanted a little bit of color um, on the lash line just to create a little bit of definition so it wasn't completely bare down there. Alright guys, and that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit of something, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.